All right, everybody here, Kelly Donahue here. I'm here with the next three minute video all about how to hold your team accountable without being a jerk. And I heard this great quote recently, um, which is metrics don't have feelings. <laughs> but, wow. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm not a super feelings person. While I can have empathy and I can coach people, I think sometimes feelings can be pretty irrational. And so when you start looking at metrics, you know, it is hard to get from your management system sometimes, but we have to do hard things. It's not impossible. So if you're looking to kind of think about this, every team member should have some form of a scorecard and they should have metrics built into their job description of what your expectations are. Example could be a retention metric, cross-selling metric. Um, on sales, it can be activity, closing ratio, or no, amount of new business. But when that happens, it provides that additional clarity that you really need to make sure that your team is focused. You know, for accountability to exist, it can't be feelings-based. It can't be, I feel like you're not selling enough. It has to be bottom line, and you have to track it against the other team members. I'll just use cross-selling as an example. I like to have our agency team members sell at least two cross-sells a week, eight a month. Now, you know, I think that that's low, and we do work to get them up a little bit, depending on the type of book. But the idea is we start selling two a week. You know, that may mean you need to quote four because usually cross sales have about a 50% closing ratio. So we start building in the infrastructure on that, provide a the training so that they have the tools. And in 90 days, you'll start seeing people click in. The ones that aren't makes it very easy to hold people accountable to it. Now, accountability exists because of some bad habits we may have brought into the agency before. So if your agency has not been strong on accountability, People will maybe take a double take. What's going on here? I never had to cross sell before. You kind of did this stuff, said it, but we never really stuck to it. And so you have to outlast the suck of change. But well, as you build in these tools in your agency, accountability becomes so much easier because it's not sitting there being like this big conversation. The person seeing the metrics is in front of their face. They have access to them. They should be expecting this conversation. And albeit that first conversation may be defensive, it gets easier and easier and easier. And the ultimate goal is the longer we do it because we outlast the suck, more people come to you and say, hey, I'm struggling hitting my cross line goal. Can I talk to you about it? And that's when you want to do a little like, yeah, to everybody because that's when you really made it. So Dave, think about how you can get metrics to your team. I know it's not easy. It is definitely a big part of our two-year program because it is hard and it takes a lot of details and a lot of revision. And you know, it's three things. It's getting the report set up right, the download right, and then getting your team to follow the right processes. But once you simplify it, that it's some, somewhere in the mix of those three things, everything becomes easier. We hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you in our next video. Hey everybody. So want to just let you know, we have our ridiculously amazing insurance agent podcast. And if you have not already gone and subscribed to it, you're missing out because it's the, one of the only insurance podcasts out there that has no sponsors, zero sponsors. And the reason that we do that is we believe that we want to be the podcast for agencies with the people problems, the growing agencies. If you've got 10 people out there, you know what I'm talking about. It gets harder with different personalities. And so we want to bring to you the best vendors. We want to bring to you all also the best agency stories out there of facing and doing the hard things for the agencies that are growing. And so if you're interested in a new insurance podcast that isn't too crazy, let us know. We actually do these three minute videos as podcasts. You might be listening to it right now. So go ahead, subscribe to the Ridiculously Amazing Insurance Agent podcast. You can go to our website under the podcast section. It's on the top left-hand corner. There's a drop down, click podcast and subscribe. Go to Apple or iTunes um, and you can also subscribe there. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.